Hi there, this is B.J. Clark, and I am talking to you today on behalf of the ESA Foundation Board of Directors to try and explain some of the good things that happened at IC Convention. Let's get started. The first thing we have is a revision of our grant program, and we're offering several kinds of grants, and they come in a category. For instance, the Career Enhancement Grant is a grant that goes to individual people and the applications are renewed quarterly. So there are several chances during the year to do that. And this is one that helps people who are in a position or who have a career to develop their skills for career advances or to get credentials. You know, sometimes you get there and you have to have recertification and all that sort of stuff. And it's not always paid by for your employers. Next one is a vocational training grant. And this is for one where people haven't, haven't gotten into their career yet, or they ha are changing career, they're transitioning. So here you have two different kinds of individual grants. You have one for if you have a job and you're expanding career, or you have the other if, when you're just beginning or if you're changing your career. And the third, partnership grant, where the board looks at and supports a program that's provided by another 501c3 group that is doing something that is very important through education to improve the world. The first one that we're giving, we're giving to St. Jude Children's Research Hospital to develop a graduate program that will train researchers for finding cures for cancer in the future. Now to support these kinds of things, we need a partner who has more money and more access to support a larger number of clients. So as you see, our St. Jude Graduate School grant, this is what we're doing. St. Jude has lots of resources. Their mission is to actually have a graduate school of biomedical sciences to educate and tra train future generations of scientists. Now, how do we accomplish the next step? Well, the next step your counselor has some information on, and I'll tell you about that right now, is that we continue to grow the ESA Life Active Membership Program. And what we're suggesting this year is that each state have at least two new Life Active members to keep this program growing. As you do, you'll create some resources that will help you to engage other people in the foundation through membership. So today, what I want to say is thank you. You have done a wonderful job in getting this program started. Now is the time to grow it and to show everyone what ESA and the ESA Foundation can do to change the world through education.